The Rodriguez Show. And we are back on The, the Rodriguez, Rodriguez Show. Show. And we have our special guest for the episode. You can see her next week, July 29th, next Friday, at the Constellation Room at the Observatory for Noche de, Veran de Verano Sin Ti. Cali Alley, how's it going? Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going real nice. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it was exciting. We've been following you for a bit. I know you DJ all over the place. But once I saw that you were going to be here at the Constellation Room doing this awesome Bad Bunny themed event, I, I knew we had to reach out and make this happen. Yeah, you yeah. guys are coming, right? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, I have to find tickets. It's already sold out. Yeah, it's sold out. <laughs> I got you, don't trip. We'll yeah. talk later. Right. <laughs> uh, so, how's the tour been going? Um, it's been amazing. Um, it's been really shocking and catching me by surprise like all the feedback and just mm -hmm. the energy that i've been experiencing yeah. with the people and just like mesmerize how people really love bad bunny oh, out yeah, here for sure. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere but yeah. for sure like i just it's been really nice yeah. yeah is there any is there any specific places that you're like oh dang they really surprised me Ventura. Yeah. I just did that, and that was like, well, that's sold out, and that was like over 600 people. So I was nice. like, damn, like, that's the biggest crowd I've ever DJed for. So I was a yeah. little nervous, but their energy was just like everything and more. Like, I really had fun. Like, even people from Ventura telling me, like, come back. Like, we love you. Like, that meant yeah. a lot because they know what's up with, you know, their local DJs just like here. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like really... um that one was really nice, inspiring. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. Um, and if they want to get information on that, they can go to at Noche de Verano Sin Ti on Instagram. And then they can follow you at Cali Alley. That's C-L-I underscore A-L-L-Y-Y-Y. -Y -Y. Um, yes. And then SoundCloud, same thing without the underscore. Uh, we'll put that all on the screen so people Yay, can see it. <laughs> for sure. So uh, how did you become a part of this? Or did you? how did this start? Um. So I reached out to uh, this kind of series that they do on the other side that's not bad bunny they do like also a taylor swift um mm. theme and that would look fun so i was like hey like i would love to be a part of it if you need an extra dj and they're like oh yeah we'll keep you in mind and you know they actually did keep me in mind for this concept so yeah. they're like are you um you know do you know bad bunny's catalog really well i was like yeah <laughs> of like, course <laughs> uh, for sure yeah. and they're like okay do you want to be a part of this and um they hit up one of my uh, good friends. Um, she goes by the name Jay Lee Chrome Queen, mm -hmm. and she's also part of Red Light Vinyl, which is another collective I'm a part of. Yeah. And she was just like, "Yeah, she's dope." And so they booked me, and they loved it, and they just kept continuing with me. That's so, dope. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It, it, it had, did you? Is that your favorite Bad Bunny album so far? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I, I just because it has merengue in there yeah. you know that's, like, fire, yeah. that's what i love like he brought a little bit of everything in latin culture for this album mm -hmm. so i uh, yeah it definitely is my favorite so that makes a lot of sense why I like like i had said in the show before like this album made me like a bigger fan of mad bunny because i mean i always, always fuck with his music and everything yeah. don't get me wrong but as far as like the this album when it draw was like wow he he can make some hits you yeah know? and yeah. he some and like some of the songs he produces them too yeah so yeah i'm like wow he's really in yeah. there for yeah. my respect yeah this one really made like cemented him as somebody that wasn't just like riding a wave like he can make yeah. his own thing <laughs> yeah i love him yeah. <laughs> So that's happening next Friday, July 29th at the Constellation Room. So it's all yes. bad. Is it all 100% bad bunny? Um, you know, I'll throw in a little something different. Maybe I might throw an alpha or we sing in Yandel or some, you know, that that's right. ones. I don't know. It just, hey. I gotta see about the crowd. It's all about reading the crowd. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it is a bad bunny experience. So you want to play the most bad bunny that you can, you know, the people will love. And what I love about it is they the people love that i play the songs like the whole through it's nothing fancy like a quick 20 seconds and the next bad bunny like you want to feel you're at a concert yeah because they sing their asses off like yeah. he's on stage i'm like damn so i just play the <laughs> song through and sometimes i play it back and they go crazy because we want to stand out more than just a club you know what yeah, i mean uh -huh. you can hear bad bunny at a club yeah but we want you to feel it you know yeah. you, the closest thing because his concert tickets are a little they're high they're a lot yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
That's what we were talking about earlier too. It was like yeah. concert uh, tickets or just in general, like even festival tickets, like six hundred bucks. Like you can afford expensive. so many of those. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's that's really cool. Yeah, there's, I feel like this. Uh, you know, these events have been popping up more often where it's a theme night, and uh, I've been to a disco night at the Ooh. observatory. That's really fun. Yeah. Uh, and like you said, I had I had seen the Taylor Swift one. That's it's been yeah. coming around here too. So that's cool for people that like all kinds of music there's a night for you you know for sure and for sure the oldest one that i can think of was emo night too oh that LA. does amazing yeah. it still does and that's another like tour thing that they do from state to state yeah it's dope. Yeah. uh so uh you personally how did you get into djing uh, okay so this was right before covid and i was at a flying lotus show at the novo and it was 3d and I was just like, I wasn't even on anything. I probably was faded, but I didn't <laughs> take anything. I wasn't drinking and just seeing his music, which is kind of like experimental jazz, electronic yeah. and 3D with the visions that, you know, he produces as well. I was like, this is so amazing. This is more than just like playing, pressing a button. Like we really feel like we're somewhere else, you yeah. know? And I wanted to promote his music. I was like, oh, people need to know who Flylo is. Mm. And I was like, I'm a DJ. Yeah. And my friends were like, well, duh, yeah, you should, <laughs> you know? That's dope. And then I just started learning, like, at a record store. They had some turntables, and they're like, yeah, you want to DJ? I'm like, yeah. They're like, do you know how? I'm like, no. Yeah. They're like, do you want to learn? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest was history. That's, that's tight. Yeah. So, it is, so what is your favorite kind of music to DJ right now? Ooh, that's tough. It's like asking me what's my favorite movie. I don't, <laughs> you know, I have a diff I love, my favorite thing is that I'm universal. I can DJ whatever, whatever the city you put me, whatever environment, like everybody has different tastes and not yeah, yeah. everybody loves Bad Bunny. Definitely. Not everybody loves Kate Trinata. So yeah. it's not everybody loves like Metallica if I want to play that, you yeah. know? Yeah. So I love that about DJing, like there's no limits. So that's, that's my true. favorite thing about it. Genre know? bending, you yeah. know? You just like don't put me in a box yeah <laughs> just play play different things i mean you could definitely like play certain you know where if it call it like a theme or whatever mm -hmm, what a type mm -hmm. of music you can play that all night long mm -hmm. but in reality it's like whatever makes you feel better huh so you just like For sure put your energy into it yeah yeah i love Latin type. music but i i do love some r&b house like yeah. i oh, love yeah. that you know yeah. but it's fun to mix it up yeah. And I have heard your mixes on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash Cali Alley. That is yes. some great ones in there, too. Yay! <laughs> I want to put some more. I want to put some more. Yeah. Uh, how did you get involved with Dash Radio? Dash Radio, um, I connected on this podcast called Caliente Girls, mm -hmm. and they're on Dash Radio. And uh, they were like, I started following them, and they hit me up. They're like, do you want to be a part of it? And I was just like, Yeah. Because I used to be on a podcast with my cousin here called The Essentials on Homegrown Radio. Mm -hmm. But COVID just kind of stopped everything. Mm -hmm. You know, we all started, like, reflecting on different things. So while, you know, my cousin was deciding, like, okay, let's see what the next step, but we need to take some time. I was mm -hmm. like, okay. But I ran it from her, like, hey, this podcast hit me up. You know, I still have your back. What do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. And she was like supportive, like go for it, you know. And yeah. I was like, okay, cool. I was like, but just know, like, if you want to start it again, like, I got you too. Yeah. So then I just started like interviewing for Caliente Girls, and then we moved to Dash Radio, like headquarters, and mm -hmm. it's they're awesome over there. Like That's shout tough. out to Carmen, she's like the social media director, and she's like amazing. She's yeah. also Latina, I love. Yeah. So I was like, she'd be looking out, you know. That's dope. Super dope. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so are you still doing that? So, you know, like doing this, I, I love podcasting. I really do. But it's just so much on my plate mm -hmm. that I don't think that the fuel is there anymore. And I don't want to be half-assing it. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm not going to lie. Like, you guys are awesome, but you guys are men. But us women... It's all it, we get a different end of the stick. Sometimes we deal with egos. Mm -hmm. We deal with guys just wanting to do it because they want to hit it, mm -hmm. or like they're in the DMs at midnight. And it's just like they really don't respect the hustle. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. yeah. I or they're that. entitled to mm -hmm. the interview. So that was kind of like I don't know yeah. if I want to continue this. But I did tell the producer I was still DJ for the show. Like I'll still do the mixes. So I'm like that's if you want me to. And he was like yeah. Yeah. So I'm still part of the team, but as far as like interviewing, I think um, COVID made me introverted and kind of just like. Uh, 
so to myself yeah i did see on your twitter that you said you decided to focus more on the djing stuff yeah, and yeah i mean it, it is it, it is like even with us like we do deal with egos and stuff like that uh-huh. and i can only imagine uh for a woman how much harder it, it is just because of, you know people assume things like you said yeah or, oh man uh, it but sucks. It, it's good that you're focusing on what you want to do and there's still these like things that you can do like noche de verano sin ti where yeah. you're doing your own thing and you're, how you want to do it yeah know? definitely still about the music for sure yeah so moving forward like what what are you what are your goals with this focus of just doing dj i want to take it overseas you know i want to DJ in like Spain. I want to DJ in Paris. Nice. I want to DJ in like a warehouse techno underground in Berlin. Like I want to just <laughs> see the world. I, that's where I wanted to take me to places I've never been. Yeah, you know, that's just connecting. Dope. Yeah. Well, that's great, and yeah. we're excited to keep following your journey, uh, like we have with this event that's happening next Friday, July 29th at the Constellation Room at the Observatory Noche de Verano Sin Ti, uh, and we're gonna get to the DJ mix, which you're gonna do a DJ mix for us. We're excited hey. to hear. And and the sixty seconds with before I know oh. that you're a big Stranger Things fan. Ah. Uh, spoilers for people that have not heard it. But what did you think of the ending? I cried so much. <laughs> I mean, I cried throughout this whole season. Like shout out to Sadie, you know, the one that plays Max, and because she did a phenomenal job. The and episode with episode four. Episode was four was so good. I cried. I mean, it was just so well written. It yeah. was the way that the zoom in the shots the angles the upside down shots just like everything the acting just the music oh the, <laughs> the choices music. <laughs> i mean it was phenomenal like just every character was perfect like it was chef's kiss yeah i loved it i'm excited for two years from now <laughs> when we get the next season <laughs> <laughs> i want them to kill will uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think he, it's time yeah he's yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, I want him to go out like a hero though. Like, but I feel like he's still connected to Vecna, so I don't know. I think that's what's ultimately. I feel like that's where it's leading. Yeah, and that's gonna be sad, but we're ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, we're gonna, you're you're gracious enough to do a DJ mix that we're gonna <laughs> do right now. But before we do that, we have a segment called "60 Seconds with." This is the rapid fire question round. Are you ready for this? <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right. Favorite cartoon character. Ooh. Homer Simpson. Favorite song right now? Favorite song right now? Um, Moscow Mule by Bad Bunny. One word to describe you when you were a kid? Brat. You have a hidden talent. Ooh. <laughs> My hidden talent? <laughs> you can keep it hidden if you want. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would say I can do some hula hoops by myself. I don't know. <laughs> Indica Sativa Hybrid. Oh, Indica all the way. Netflix, Hulu, or HBO? Netflix, because Stranger Things. True. Name of your best friend in high school? Oh, Denise. First CD you ever bought? For Oh, my God. The first CD was No Doubt, Tragic Kingdom. Uh, first song you illegally downloaded? Oh, my God. If I can remember, I don't know. But it definitely was something had to do with, like, either Ludacris, because that's when it was around the time. <laughs> uh, favorite movie? <sighs> Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Jim Carrey or Will Ferrell? Jim Carrey. And uh, rap and Drake, R&B Drake. Uh, R&B Drake. Nice. <laughs> now, 60 Seconds with Callie Alley on The Rodriguez Show.